Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are going to create a super simple habit tracker template for Obsidian. Habits are building blocks of our lives. They shape our routines, they define who we are and they define where we will lead our life. However, creating new habits is hard, especially in today's world where we are faced with so many distractions and so many temptations, it's easy to fall off the grid. That's where habit tracking comes in. Tracking our habits can help us gain valuable insights in our daily behaviors and stay motivated towards achieving our goal. It can help us maintain consistency in our routines and lead a more fulfilling and productive life. So we'll learn about creating a habit tracker dashboard right inside of Obsidian so that you don't have to use any other app or any other software to track your habits. Let me go to a new world. And before we start to create a template or uh, before you start to create a habit tracker dashboard, uh, let us talk about the plugins that we'll require in order to set up this dashboard. The first plugin that we'll need is Daily Notes, which is available as a core plugin, so we don't need to install it. The second plugin that we'll need is Templator, or you can also use templates, but Templator is more powerful, which can be used in order to automate different functions. So we'll just be installing Templator, which you can use in future for more tasks as well. And the third plugin that we'll need is Data View, which we will be using in order to visualize our tasks. Now let us create a folder here called Templates, where we'll start, when we'll store our template for daily note and another folder where we'll store our journal or where we will store our daily notes. And let me go to daily notes and assign new file location as journal and let me create a template file over here named daily note let's go to templator and select the template folder location as templates and enable this option to trigger templator on new file creation which can be used for advanced function that we might use but we will not use any advanced functions uh, right now in this video so we'll just leave it to track our habits we'll use our daily notes and we are creating a daily note template over here uh, let's create a yml front matter where we will add where we will add our tags let's add tag as dailies. Now we will use our habits as metadata. We will add metadata to our notes either in the front matter or we can add it as inline metadata in our notes with double columns. So let me create a simple habits that I want to track such as sleep, reading, exercise, meditation and writing. And I will add zero as initial value in all of these habits and I will tell you why uh, later. Now in our daily note we can log these habits by adding corresponding numbers to the metadata value. For example, we can note down the number of minutes we read or we can uh, note down the number of pages we read and the number of words we write or any other relevant data for tracking these habits. These are just the habits that I have added as a sample. You can add other habits as well. Now let me create a few daily notes from this template. Oh, let me install the calendar plugin first which will make it easier to navigate between da different daily notes. Create daily notes in our vault. Simple calendar widget for Obsidian. I'll click on enable and you will see here is a calendar. I'll just create few notes over here. I have daily notes for a week. Now let me show you how you can visualize these habits or how you can visualize the data in your habits. For that, we'll be using the data view plugin, which we installed earlier. Uh, let me create a new note called habit tracker. Now let us add a data view query in order to visualize our notes. For that, we'll just start with three back ticks and we'll write data view over here and we'll create a table without ID where we'll use the file link as date and let me show if this works or not. Let me just remove the comma over here and you can see our query is working. It is searching for all nodes with our daily tag. Now we'll need to create a table to visualize our habits. For that, we'll use the choice query where if the sleep data, let me just write as capital, sleep data is greater than seven which means if we slept more than seven hours, then it will be displayed as green box, else it will be displayed as red box, which means we did not complete that habit. And we don't, and we want to display this as sleep emoji. Let us add sleep emoji over here. Now, if I go to preview mode, you can see these are our daily notes and here is our sleep habit. And we see, um, because we have not added any data over here, you can see all of these all of these are red. Let me add one data over here. If I add eight over here and let me go back to my habit tracker and you can see here is a green box, which means we completed that habit in this day. Now let's add similarly for other habits as well. I'll just paste, copy and paste over here and add the different data. Let me just open stack tabs. Let's add data for reading where I want to read 30 minutes and I'll use the emoji over here. Books, exercise for 30 minutes. Change the emoji to 
let's say run meditation let's say i want to meditate for 10 minutes and let's change this to yoga now if i go to preview mode you can see it's not working because we did not add comma over here after every habits let's add it first comma comma now we can see our habits we only have added four habits you can similarly add other habits as well as many habits as you want based on your daily notes now let's add another query to sort these notes based on ascending order of the file name file day so we'll use sort query over here sort file the day ascending you can also choose to sort these notes based on descending order based on your preferences now there's another query that you can add in order to show habits for a particular time period or particular number of days here it will currently show habits for the past seven days only you can also uh, change it to show habits for 14 days or 30 days based on based on your own needs and if i go to preview mode it will only show me habits for this week i have created daily notes for future date as well so it is not it is not showing me right now this will query notes from today's day today's daily note and past daily notes only so it is excluding these files now i can just create daily note over here and if i go to habit tracker you will see the number of uh, the number has changed which means it will display habits for the past 14 days up to 16 you can see here so this is how you create a simple super simple habit tracker in obsidian with the help of data view and some other plugins like calendar and daily note and templates i hope you found this video helpful if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more videos related to obsidian in the future